everybody. I'm Delaney. And I'm Brooks. And together we are Go Figure Reviews. And for today, we have the Mattel Creations Masterverse Horde Trooper. Hmm. And this is, like I said, a Mattel Creations uh, exclusive. They have this on their website. Um, I think they still have a lot on their website. Uh, our good buddy Mike was able to acquire one for us, and we're going to review this one. Uh, so far, so good. The packaging looks fairly decent. It's got the Horde Trooper on there with that huge sword. Um, it looks like there's a battle going on. Mm -hmm. I wish they'd start making, you know, these these uh, Eternian Guard figures in the mm -hmm. Masterverse size. I'm sure too. they'll get around to it. Yeah, but they're showing them, so it's a thing. So yeah, on the side is a little bit more of that. It's pretty rated. good. Yeah, not too bad. It's like a full blown, full scale war. And then we've got the Horde Trooper on the back, which looks good. I mean, it looks like a mm. vampire bat or something. Or like Nosferatu. Goblin. Yeah. yeah, Goblin too. He, he's got to look for him. And it says uh, original designs inspired by classic concepts. So I guess the Horde Trooper wasn't a robot after all. Or it's some kind of sentient being. Or something. I think they were supposed to be in like the old cartoon. But yeah. They, they, they tended to do that a lot to make. Uh, bad guys robot, so you wouldn't feel bad when like they got man, he man would like annihilate them. Right, totally wrecked. But yeah, more fighting on the side over here. I like this artwork, this wraparound artwork. Going to the best verses at the top, and on the bottom is the legal stuff, and of course that barcode. You want to check that out? And when we open it to the side, it shows the horde trooper information. So if you want to like pause that and uh, see what's going on there. And we also can open it all the way like this. And it has even more stuff inside. So it's got the Horde. It's got the Hordak symbol there. New attorney at the bottom. So this is like I said, the concept art. And then removing this, it's like, it's not a slip, but it's a slide out, I guess, of that same artwork. So, looks good. I'm going to display okay, this. Yeah, it's like a little, nice little poster. Yeah, of. it's not too bad. Yeah. And, of course, the figure itself comes with a box. We're going to look at all this stuff. Just crack this bad boy open and see what's going on. All right. And here we have uh, the Horde Troopers accessories. Um, I'm going to start with the staff, which looks pretty good. Mm. I like the fact that it's like a dragon and that it opens up like that. Mm. So it's collapsed down, you pull it out and it does that cool motion. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Like the detail in that. Mm. Nice staff. It's only one color. Yeah, I was I was going to put a little uh, yeah. extra color on it. Yeah. Maybe a little silver. Something. It needs, it needs something. But I still like it. I still mm. like that. It's just very clever use of a weapon. Yeah, I don't think cool if they had given a blast effect for it. That too. Yeah. I'm going to shoot it out. And then, of course, we've got his sword, which is freaking yeah. huge, man. Thank God. That's, that's the thing I've noticed about him. Jeez. I always said if this were to come with the uh, Origins. Mm-hmm. I had a sword like this one. He needs a sweet sword. Like, I mean, yeah. this puts, like, he needs sword to shame. Yeah. I like that hor uh, that Hordak. That's in there. Yeah, it has a his his face on it. Yep, of course it does. And a nice pommel. Very nice sword. I mean, geez. I cannot believe they got made him a sword that big. Mm -hmm. Um, and then of course in the box there's a smaller box that's at his feet and it holds his I guess this is a backpack. Yeah, it's so a they have like backpack. a jetpack or something. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. But it also holds the staff, so oh, you can okay. like, so it's just as you snap the staff monster. in. Yeah, well, I can't do it right now for some reason, but you can snap it in there and it holds like that. So, I mean, not bad, but like, that's a waste of a box if you're just gonna put mm -hmm. that in there, you know. A bit unnecessary, but, yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's his accessories, they're, they're minor, but there they are. And here he is out of the box, and he's pretty. He's a pretty bulky guy. Like, uh, yeah, he's bigger even, than a normal masterverse. Yeah, even by masterverse standards, he's pretty. He's pretty chunky, but uh, you know, it's, it's the armor, I think. Yeah. yeah, 
they got that big old armor on him. But uh, he's got the, like, the helmet looks cool. I like the, he's got the, you can see through the uh, visor a little bit. Yeah. Under his head, and of course, it didn't move. But it, with the helmet on, it has a decent movement itself. You know, you can move it. Of course, you can't go up or down any, but you can have him turn his head if you need to. I like his, uh, his chest and shoulder thing here. Of course, it's got the horde symbol on it. Well, what's his face? His face on there. <laughs> and uh, arms are pretty, like, he doesn't have, like, you know, all the fanciness that we're used to. But, you know, he doesn't really need it because, you know, the shoulder, the shoulder thing there isn't going to be, like, putting butterfly jones on it would be kind of redundant, I think. Yeah. But uh, single-jointed elbows, you know, he is a clunky armor guy, so he's some of he's not going to be quite as articulated as some, but he does have that that swivel there, which is nice, and of course the wrist midsection. He's got a pretty decent midsection there too. Yeah, it range. moves around a lot. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, see, he doesn't. The waist doesn't turn, but I, I think it kind of he didn't really need it. Uh, legs are pretty impressive though. Like he's got the decent. Like it drops down too, which is cool. Yeah, so it gives you a little yeah, bit more like movement. He might be able to Jean Claude, despite all the armor. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, if you pull the drop downs, yeah. both both the drop downs down, he might be able to Jean Claude. Hmm. But yeah, 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 yeah. I think does. I think he's, he can come pretty close. Yeah, like I, you might be able to make him do it. The knees are uh, double jointed, but. That's pretty standard these days. Yeah. And uh, he's got a decent ankle, too. Like for, for uh, you know, he's got them big old feet. Big old feet. It's yeah. crazy. He got them stompers. And, of course, uh, you can take the helmet off to see his uh, doofy goblin face. I could get the thing off. It's, it's a bit slippery. There, I almost got it. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, he's got his little... Goblin face there. Yeah, I don't know what he's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just like a your, kind of your basic horde conscript guy. But yeah, I think I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I think the only feature that he would need is like the button to press in the front to make his armor come off or make yeah, his armor fly yeah. off. But I'm not complaining about that because he's so nice to look at. Yeah. And like even if, if you as you look at him from behind too, I mean it's a basic back, but at the same time he's huge. Yeah. Like he's got all of these nice little cool things about him that just make him, you know, a surprisingly an awesome master burst figure. Oh, yeah. All right. And here we have the horde trooper with the uh Motu Origins horde troopers. Oh, uh, this is Brooks is on this side. This is mine. Um, I have the different axe for absolutely no reason, but uh, it it's pretty cool. I mean, he looks like he's the king of the horde troopers. Mm -hmm. Of course, if, if they're going to do this for the origins way, he's like the commander. Yeah, he is the commander. And uh, looking at this real quick, like the the weapon itself, like apparently it was supposed to do that cool thing where it opens because it has a dragon hmm. on his as well. So that's cool. I like how they gave that more detail by it opening up. But like I said, also the downside for that this figure is that it doesn't have the button where you can press it and the armor just comes off. That would be cool. I like that feature. Hmm. I know the original uh the Horde Trooper does that. Yeah, we the, don't have the vintage right now. Yeah, Master Versus tends to be more uh, display yeah. than uh, action feature oriented. True, true. And here he is with his boss, Snordak, <laughs> or Hordak as he's called by some. But uh, yeah, we have the uh, Origins Hordak, of course, which is, uh, I kind of like this Hordak. You know, he has is, he is like the classic colors rather than the. Uh, the colors he's more associated with the blues. Instead, he's got the grays and blacks. Yeah. I uh, like that Horde act for some yeah, reason. Like it, the, I like the red cape. And, you know, he comes with this little, uh, his little bat minion that clips onto his arm as well. 
And uh, we also have the Turtles of Grayskull Hordak, which is more in the uh, familiar color scheme. I like this Hordak too. Like, you know, I like, you know, he has the kind of teched out belt. And uh, of course, those wings. Those wings sell it. Yeah. Yeah, it's for real. It's my, I think that might be my favorite Hordak figure. Yeah, from Hordak yeah. Too. Like he is one of the more, most striking, I think, Hordak figures. This kind of makes me think, like, well, wonder what uh, if they ever would do a uh, Horde Trooper and Turtles of Grey Skull. Like maybe they could mix him with like a Rock Soldier or something. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be pretty. Interesting. Yeah, I'll see all their mashups. Oh yeah, Turtles of Grey Skull is the shit. Mm -hmm. And here we have Hordak with the Horde Trooper. Uh, two different Hordaks. Mm. Uh, this is the Masterverse Hordak. This came out a little a uh, while back. It was at Target for the longest time, and then it went like on sale for like yeah, nothing. It was like fifteen bucks. Yeah. So I picked him up along with Shira. Uh, they both were in the like the deluxe sizes. Mm -hmm. He's got the cool weapons and, and the blaster effect, and he's got other weapons and stuff. Plus a uh, cloth cape, but no bendy wire. Mm. But I like that cape. Yeah, it's pretty decent. And then you have on this side the uh, Revolutions. Yeah, Keith David. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. I like his face. I like all his stuff. The fact that he's wearing a dress though, I'm kind of off mm -hmm. by the dress part. Like I don't know, it's why it's a tunic or something. But he has uh, also a cape, but it's not as wide mm -hmm. and not no bendy wire. But I mean, compared to these guys, I mean, this horde trooper is supposed to be like his guard. Mm. And I mean, he's intimidating enough, I guess, that he would be a great guard for him. Yeah. But uh, it still looks weird that he is this freaking huge. Yeah. I, I do like the size, though. He's, yeah, he's, it's like the armor, you know. You're going to give a guy an armor suit. You want to make it big. Yeah. Go big or go home. Very true. And here he is next to a couple of more heroic figures. Uh, we have the Masterverse She-Ra, which is, she's the only Masterverse that I personally got because, you know, she I managed to catch her on sale. But I really do like uh, the She-Ra. She looks really nice. Yeah, she, she comes, comes with the mask. Yeah, she comes with too. a different head with, like, the full mask. And, you know, she, come, of course, comes with the sword and shield. And... Um, we also have uh, a Masterverse He-Man, Battle Armor He-Man. This was uh, the uh, Revolutions. Yeah, this is the, car the the cartoon on Netflix version, the second season. He wore that the armor. He didn't have that the the sword for some reason. There was a reason mm -hmm. he didn't use the power sword, so he had to use the uh, battle armor and the axe. That's mm -hmm. why it, it, I think Audra the the girl that was in this oh, yeah. created that yeah. armor for him. And there I, isn't, yeah. I, I liked Revolutions a lot. Well, I, 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 I liked Revelations all right, but Revolutions was better because he actually got to do, He Man got to do a bit more in that. Yeah, he was actually alive in that. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a new Eternia uh, battle armor He Man as well. Just didn't show it off because, I mean, that's kind of redundant. I mean, you see the size of the two and you're showing off that the horde trooper is freaking huge like yeah. shira has to fight these <laughs> like she's i guess she's taking these down right and left yeah i mean like she is this most powerful woman in the universe i guess true so, isn't princess it? No, of power you know she's shira shira do, 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 do. all right and here we have some marvel figures as well just to show some size uh, we have on this side, this is Scar, son of Hulk. Um, that was, we reviewed that a while back. Mm. Um, check that video out. He's uh, pretty cool. I think he's an awesome figure as far as size goes. And then we have the Marvel Select uh, Destroyer Armor figure. Um, he looks like he's about almost the same height, a little yeah. taller. I think these... these uh figures scale better with Marvel Selects. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It looks like they could have a good, uh, fine and lofty mm. battle the way they look. But man, the size comparison is, is crazy. I mm. cannot believe this Horde Trooper is this large. He's freaking massive. Yeah. And, yeah. All right. So all in all, um, I honestly love it. Mm. <laughs> this Horde Trooper figure is amazing. I mean, he's got the size. I like the paint on him. I like the fact that it's like updated, modernized, 
uh, for a Masterverse figure. Uh, he he's well above the scale, but that's because of the armor. It's really cool, and Shira have, is, is having a rough time fighting him. So you know, we we here at Go Figure Reviews give out figure points, zero to five figure points. Zero being you know crap, five being super awesome. I don't think we've got we've gotten a zero yet. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten a zero because I mean I don't think we review it. I <laughs> just, just be like no. But you know, we might one day. You never know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Um, but uh Brooks, what would you give this Mattel Creations Masterverse Horde Trooper figure? Well, I can I can I really can't find much fault with him. Like he's really great. Like I love he looks good. He comes with some cool accessories. Like he's pretty, he's pretty damn poseable. I have to give him the full five, man. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I really like, I really like this guy. Like, if I was a collector, if I was collecting uh, Masterverse, I'd say definitely I'd want at least one of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you know what, man? Of course, I agree. It's a full five. I mean, the whole hand. It's like, I didn't know I wanted it until Mike mentioned that it was on the website. Now, of course, these things are on MattelCreations.com, uh, but you can, man, you have to go and see if they're in the stores, too. That makes me mm. mad that they're not in the stores. Okay. I know it's like a premium figure, it looks like, but I, I believe I paid 30 bucks for this. That's not bad. And and for the for what you're getting, that it's a bang for your buck. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a good size. I, I kind of wish the, the double jointed, uh, elbows were a thing, but mm -hmm. you can get him still in some decent poses for his size. Yeah. Um, he looks great posed with other things. I'm going to definitely put him in my collection. He, he, he I need two, to be mm -hmm. honest. I need two to flank Hordak, but mm -hmm. like, I think one would still be enough because like he's big enough and imposing enough to be a guard for Hordak. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's I think it's pretty darn cool. Yeah, yeah man. So yeah, uh tell us guys what figure points you give it. How many would you give it? Um tell us in the comments anytime. We are about to give the winner for our Ooh, Oh no. no. Shira has been defeated. He whooped her. But the soul still burns. Yeah, that's right. I forget what I said. <laughs> you know, like, share, subscribe, do all the fun things you normally do. This horde, or this horde trooper freaking rules. Yeah. And of course, get out there and go figure!